anyone there? Uh, Covel? Marit? Uh, uh, hey, this is Yasna. Uh, I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Uh, I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter may still be working. supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was it just the end of the mission? Just like I thought. Nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean. 
with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign! Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Marks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? Doesn't resemble any reptile I know. Huh. Another object, still not a match. That has an interesting shape of a crocodile indeed. We have the first one. I need one more. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. Bingo! I found the dog! I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Hmm. I think that's my rope. It didn't just fall out of the backpack, so apparently I didn't have time to collect it before I... Well, fell. <sighs> Something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Huh. I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you?
Trackers. Hmm. Or another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it, and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. to the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. But I can't go this way.
Time to go. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. On some planet. Such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. No point in going back this way. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here great a route that won't break my neck <laughs> I hope Okay, I'm at the bottom. <coughs> Looks better from here. I'll be with you soon.
Closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did did I black out again? And hop up closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Heavy. The bill is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Now you go. Life is not that scary. I remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the world of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life developed on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae, 
But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. No. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop, and you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage if we feel stupefied. But... Uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauto, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. I was ordered to stay. What the hell am I doing here? Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. I 
Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot. Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Damn! Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Oh, well. Never mind. Maybe if I... RT? Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Check this place first. that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect.
Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Doctor Crowther at the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Doctor Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? 